what recording software do you guys use? Let us know down below via the comments. In today's video, Strife C will be going over some of the best recording softwares out in the market for you guys that have lower end computers, mediocre computers, and even some of the higher end computers out there. This is the recording software that you guys need to be using. But that said, make sure that if you want to support Strife, a link will be down below via the comments for his channel and a link will also be on the screen. What are some suggestions that you guys want to give Strife? What should he do to improve his content? Let us know down below via the comments. And take it away, Strife. It's available on Steam. But let's get started, shall we? Now, this video isn't going to be for everyone, but if you're like myself and you want to get the very, very best quality for your channel, for your viewers, then stick around because I've put together a bundle of information that you guys can follow to get what you want for your channel. This video is kind of going to be an overview so you guys can get all the information, but if you want to have an in-depth guide, there's loads of links in the description that you guys can check out, watch the videos, follow the information, and understand it a lot better. First thing that we're going to look at is quality comparison. Before doing the research, I used Bandicam. It filled my needs. It had the split audio, which you do need. It was very easy to use. It was reliable, and I thought it had great quality. Now on the video, you'll see Fraps, Shadowplay, Deck Story, Play Call, Action, Bandicam, the main video recorders, the best, the worst, we'll find out. Now I thought they were all pretty even, these screen recorders, but I found a benchmark quality comparison and the results speak for themselves. You'll find the link, the, it will be the first link in the description. I highly recommend that you check it out. You'll find in the description of that video, a link to an imager that compares the differences between the videos. Coming up on top is DX Toy, followed by Camtasia. I've not really heard of Camtasia, but I know for a fact that DX Tory is highly regarded as being one of the best screen recorders. And on the screen now, you'll see the rest of the results. But make sure you do check out the other links if you want to get a more in-depth guide of what's going on here. And it's all right just saying DX Tory is the best, but there is problems that come with things. One of the biggest problems that people find is the stress that these programs cause on your CPUs, on your hard drives, and all that mumbo jumbo, which you'll find the second link will explain a lot more. He does a benchmark test of all the screen recorders you see in front of you. Coming up top again was DX Tory and Shadowplay. Oddly enough, Shadowplay, designed by Nvidia, boasts its ability to be CPU friendly, RAM friendly, hard drive friendly, all super quick, when in fact DX Tory is in fact quicker. Don't ask me how, the programmers did well, I guess? If you check out the video and compare the results, you'll find that there is only like less than 5% frame rate loss, and in my book that's pretty damn good, but in fact these do come with restrictions, and it's all to do with your hard drive write speed, or SSD write speed, whichever you have. In order to be able to use DXTory, you need, I'd say, around at least 120 write speed on your hard drive. Now, you can check this. There's a link in the description, and it'll tell you exactly how to test your hard drive speed. Now, this is for the very best quality. DXTory, hands down, wins it. But if you are just looking for a decent recorder, Shadowplay is probably the second best option, except if you haven't got NVIDIA software. Otherwise, action from Melis? Melis? I can't pronounce the name, it is frustrating me. But if we add up all the information with I have gathered and you guys can check out, the winner by an absolute mile is DX Tory. No stress, use DX Tory, guys. You won't regret it. And that is my personal recommendation to you guys. Let me know in the comments what do you think of DX Tory? Have you had problems with others? Do you think you'll move to DX Story if you checked out the other videos? Believe me, they will change your mind. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I've been Strife from the Strife CD channel. This has been Methods of Growth. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to go support some of the others. Like this video, Stefan talks about a new esports brand specifically for the freedom community. Here it is. Main agreement with UMG, with UMG Online to be exact, so they'll be running a tournament on our behalf. You can find it if you go to. Another video from Strive C. Check his channel out here. Video capture software to suit your needs. 
And for those who are interested, the game in the background is the- And as always, make sure you click that subscribe button on the gamer's channel. But till next time, bye bye